No more boring dry chicken. Learn how to marinate chicken and then try one of these six marinades for the most delicious chicken any night of the week. Hey there, I'm Molly Thompson from What Molly Made. Welcome back to my kitchen where we make good food that makes you feel good too. Today, I'm going to show you how to make six different chicken marinades. Throw these in a baggie and your chicken is gonna taste a thousand times better, I promise. Stick around because I'm gonna show you an easy way to freeze these so you can have a quick dinner on the table any night of the week. If you have the time, marinating chicken is worth it for sure. A marinade adds flavor, makes the chicken really tender, and saves you time. Prep all of these marinade recipes at once, freeze them, then just defrost and bake them with some veggies for an easy weeknight meal. Our favorite ways to cook marinated chicken are grilling, baking, sauteing, pan frying, or air frying. Any chicken that will be made with a dry heat cooking method will benefit from a marinade. The general rules of marinating chicken are simple. Any cut of chicken can be marinated, though chicken breasts are the most common. You can marinate them in a glass bowl with a lid, a freezer bag, or a casserole dish. Marinate for at least 30 minutes to allow the marinade to penetrate the chicken. You can marinate overnight, but do not go past 24 hours or your chicken could end up mushy, especially if you have a vinegar-based marinade. Now that we have all the basics for how to marinate chicken and why it's so important, let's make six of my favorite chicken marinades. This balsamic chicken is one you can come back to again and again. It uses simple ingredients and it pairs with so many delicious sides. Add 1 fourth a cup of olive oil, a third a cup of balsamic vinegar, 1 tablespoon of Dijon mustard, 2 tablespoons of maple syrup, 2 teaspoons of Italian seasoning, 3 cloves of minced garlic, 1 teaspoon of kosher salt, and a fourth a teaspoon of black pepper to a bag or a bowl and mix to combine. Add 1 to 1 and a half pounds of chicken and stir well to coat. Marinate for 30 minutes to 12 hours and enjoy the most delicious Italian style chicken ever. Next up is a go-to in our house and we love to bake or grill it. I grew up addicted to honey mustard everything so why not throw it on some chicken too. You only need six ingredients and they are three tablespoons of olive oil, a fourth a cup of Dijon mustard, a fourth a cup of your favorite honey, three cloves of minced garlic and some salt and pepper. The grill marks you get from the charred honey is so, so good. The third marinade might be my favorite of all time because I'm obsessed with all things Mexican, not just on Tuesdays. The cilantro lime marinade makes chicken you can put on salads, in fajitas, in tacos, chopped on nachos, and more. Prop your freezer bag open and pour in 1 fourth a cup of olive oil, a third a cup of lime juice, two tablespoons of honey, three cloves of minced garlic, a mix of cumin, chili powder, salt and pepper, and a third a cup of fresh chopped cilantro. The cilantro makes this so fresh. Discard any marinade and grill and bake or sear the chicken. Marinade number four may not surprise you at all, but the bold flavors will. It's not just barbecue sauce in a bag. We're adding some olive oil, smoked paprika, chili powder, garlic, and salt and pepper. We like to use an unsweetened barbecue sauce like Primal Kitchen to keep it refined sugar free. If that's the case for you too and you want it a little bit sweeter, go ahead and add some honey to the mix. Toss it all together and marinate for at least 30 minutes. Grill it in the summer or enjoy it baked with your favorite sides. My husband's favorite marinade is this Greek lemon chicken. Its bold flavor and versatility make it a great sheet pan meal or alongside a hearty salad. Add some olive oil to your bag with three tablespoons of red wine vinegar, three cloves of minced garlic, the juice from half a lemon, and a mixture of dried oregano, dried basil, dried thyme, salt, and pepper. I promise this will become your new go-to when you don't know what to make. Last but not least, our sixth and final marinade is a Greek yogurt curry chicken marinade. Greek yogurt adds moisture and acid while curry powder gives it so much flavor. We don't need any oil for this one, just a cup of Greek yogurt with thinly sliced shallots, three cloves of minced garlic, and spices like curry powder, cumin, allspice, paprika, salt, and pepper. Use freshly grated ginger if you can, but ground ginger will work too. Make sure you mix it well so everything is combined with the yogurt, then add the chicken and turn it several times until it's coated before marinating in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. Now that you have all six of my favorite marinades, let's talk about meal prepping and freezing these for a simple weeknight meal. Get all of the air out of the freezer bag, then label the bag with the type of marinade and the date you made it. Lay it flat in the freezer for a few hours before standing it up to save space. When you're ready to make it, just thaw it overnight in the fridge. It will marinate as it thaws right before you cook it. Marinating chicken adds flavor and tenderizes the chicken at the same time. It's the easiest way to make your chicken that much better. Let me know which marinade is your favorite in the comments. Then check out this recipe for grilled and baked honey mustard chicken thighs. 